Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader, known as Fijian Traders. This is Mr. Singh. Folks, I have a lot of things to cover in this video. I'm going to talk about my portfolio. Yes, folks, I'm going to show you my portfolio, where I'm at, what I'm doing, also the news, and as expected, what are the key level of support and resistance? You can clearly see that pre-market we were high at dollar fifty cents. Then we went low of dollar below dollar. Actually, we went all the way to uh, no, actually it was dollar, and we raised up to dollar ten cents, right? Dollar uh, four cents uh, when the market closed was sitting at dollar ten cents. Folks, I'm excited, but let's talk on the fundamentals. Then we're gonna talk about some technical analysis because I am pumped up because it is a beautiful start so last week OCGN has gained up to 72.56 percent of this price move from 55 cents to 94 cents right now it is sitting at dollar four cents and higher was 98 cents so this is was the last week right volume predicts price we were 41.58 million dollar volume this needs, number needs to be at 70 to see a, a lot of movement. So 70 is the volume number that I'm looking at it. Where I see a stock price going to, especially with OCGN, a lot of movement coming up. Also, I talked in my previous video, right? What is coming up? Mark your calendar because Mr. Shankar is going to be talking on the phase three, right? So OCGN stock fans should keep an eye on the critical, barnacle company. As we were mentioned, um, on my previous video, a big news is coming on the on Wednesday, right? What is the big news? The company's upcoming phase three trial of OC, OCU 400. An event is set up at 10 a.m. Eastern time until the noon. Along with the company, will also provide, include details of ongoing phase one and two trial of OCG, OCGU 400 during the clinical showcase. And it's all related and the treatment of retinitis pedizoma. So wow this is what we know this is the news that i shared with the last time and well, now the big wigs are putting the news out as well as the inverted place everywhere is they're talking about ocgn right now and i'm excited because this is a long time we've been waiting for this long time right talk about my portfolio so folks before i talk about that but i want to talk about it's my youtube channel that i own any stocks that i talk about i am invested on right i talk about mara i talk on tesla neo plug uh, other painting stock b water uh hcmc also so ocgn i'm invested up to fifty thousand shares i'm up you can clearly see i'm on my green right now percentage i left it didn't fade it out so you guys can see it i'm down one of my stocks on the plug power which is sitting at a 17 um uh, seventy and dollars. It's about two point two three percent, which I'm not worried about because my plan is to add more shares. But I'm fifty. This is about OCGN. So OCGN, I'm about fifty thousand shares. I am not done yet, folks. I am not done yet to add more shares on that. I am just waiting for the key moment on another level. So kill a load of shares. Is it coming down trend? Is it going up trend? We're gonna discuss that on the technical side. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'm here on the big run. And I'm also over here for the long run with OCGN. So, further ado, let's talk on the technical side. I'm pumped. I'm excited. As mentioned, right, you can clearly see that pre-market, right? How did we do it in the pre-market? Pre-market, we gapped up high and was sitting at four, went to $1.40, which was my previous video. I mentioned it. There's two key levels, right? One was sitting at $1.05 and one was at $1.40. I said there was no in-between gaps, right? And go watch it on the weekend because I did say it and it exactly happened on that. So we gapped up at $1.40 high. Wind high of $1.50 on the pre-market. Sure not. People sell it off because if you're sitting at $0.45 cents or $0.55 cents bought it, why not, right? To lock those shares, right? If you're here for the short run. And when the market opened up, we opened up at $1.24. But we and as expected, which I expected it, it kind of broke through all the way to the dollar. And came back where my support level uh at resistance level was sitting at dollar uh, five cents came in and acted as a support and we kind of came and closed right below what i was expecting it because it was a dollar five cents but it closed at dollar four cents but after market it is railing up to dollar ten cents which is great right and why did it happen right 
We know his 21st is coming up, right? Mr. Shankar is going to be talking about that. Why? Why Why did he have this pullback? It is called a low-hanging fruits investors. I would say low-hanging investors means they are bought their shares, they sold it, locked their profit, they're gone, they don't want to be part of it, right? People who have been in the long run knows what is going to be capable of, so they are holding it right now, and this is the other investors that jumped in at the right time and got out at the right time, right? In their books, it is their right time, right? But this is just the start, folks. This is the party just started. It's about to be happening. It's about to be rocking very soon before the clinical trial, more updates coming up, which seems like a great great news coming out so i am excited about it what are the key levels we're looking at right so five day we're going to talk about the five day right we, since the market opened up we have this gap right closed over here you see all my all my support level sitting right here now it's been destroying it and now that it's sitting at it's gonna i'm gonna keep it as a resistance because we didn't close and hold my dollar five cents which i mentioned on my previous video that we're gonna break right and we we just sitting right here but we knew this sell-off came off right it's okay it is called a healthy pullback as well because sometimes to make a gap right up high like this they kind of filled up the gap right the gap that we had from 98 cents from today and then we came back and kind of filled on the gap on the pre-market to that so i'm not worried about it nothing to be concerned about it folks so i don't want you guys panicking i like oh man i don't want to lose my gains it is coming to that because you can see rsi came over here we had this sell-off and i expect this sell-off i know you're not gonna like it but i even expect this sell-off to come all the way to 86 cents right or even up to 86 cents or 85 cents even that people are will be selling to locking those profits but there'll be another run another swing of run will happen back again where it's going to go test of high of two dollars and fifty cents and even higher than that mark my word two dollars and fifty cents so that is on that so on the one month you can see it got started selling off but our 50 day uh 60 day ema sitting at 90 cents so that's a receipt and that's going to be the support level right here which is already marked up and my 200 day is sitting at 70 cents so there's so much uh, support level sitting on those two key levels and on the three months right we're gonna quickly look at the three months what's going on same thing right everything is pointing up you did have this sell-off right here a small red dot come over here rsi gate called cooled off you need this cool off this is a cooling period where it is gonna be a round two right when the round two begins where it will be more a little bit more fireworks better than what we had highs of of dollar 50 on the pre-market because you will see a movement a stock trace that way it is a great sign uh, i won't be surprised tomorrow where we'll be bouncing between 125 dollar 25 cents to dollar 40 cents we'll be bouncing around here then we're pulling back again and then kind of tra trading in between this channel between that i love to see it in trading between this because if the great news comes out oh boy you better be ready to when you want to sell that stock because it's going to be lifting off because if you go back to one year right one year we were talking about right around i'm gonna go right around this time right so right around in february and that's something right up here and we were trading right at the same time at dollar five cents right we kind of recovered from that year a terrible year from 2023 all the way to 34 cents now we have kind of gapped up and you can see there's a red dot right here sell off came happen right and we talked about dollar 40 cents it even higher went to dollar 28 cents on the on the day off but on the pre-market it was a dollar 50 cent and we couldn't hold that i like it what i see i like really what i see right now on this chart right because now it is a complete reversal because now we've been trading every time we had that right even though we were right here at dollar five cents but look at our moving average right that's my blue line that's my 60 day moving average and that's a 200 day we never came close there was a complete downtrend complete downtrend folks all right so people are looking for entry points this and now i mentioned it i mentioned it to you guys i said hey folks it is a squeeze coming up because when these have lift up from the ground and start acting as a support i said folks now we have a support this is a squeeze and sure not created a beautiful bull flag pattern Go watch what go Google it if you're not sure what's a bull flag pattern and created a beautiful bull flag pattern where you're gonna be trading in between that and making another bull flag pattern, making higher highs, higher lows on that. So dollar forty is the next stop. What is the next stop after that, right? Why I'm putting a next stop after that? Because it's gonna crack it, it's gonna break it, dollar forty. So 
uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of zoom out everything and gonna go back to our next support level uh, where we're gonna be right so dollar 40 cents is the next that I have and after that it's gonna go all the way high it's sitting right up here at dollar 59 cents so dollar 59 cents up here I'm gonna have another trend line setting up for us right it's gonna be sitting right here actually let me zoom up to make sure I have a better view on that actually sitting at dollar 62 cents dollar 62 cents but I'm gonna put it at dollar 60 because we have time we got rejected at dollar 60 so dollar 60 cents it's gonna be another resistance to break let's see if we break it I have full confidence that we'll be testing that level folks we will be testing that dollar 60 cent level so I'm excited hey folks I'm doing my video because I had one day uh, before I turn around to another vacation I wanted to make sure I lock in my shares also do my videos talk to you guys what's coming up but this is just a start folks just a start and this is a healthy pullback so do not panic because you panic then you sell shares and then you regret it later. But have a plan. Not a final advisor. Not it. This is all my due diligence and I've been trading it for over 12 years now. And you've seen it how much I've invested in, right? I logged in 50,000 shares. My plan is to add another, another 10 to 15,000 <coughs> shares. And I'm excited about it. So buckle up, fasten your seatbelt because it's going to be one of the enjoyable ride coming up very soon when it's on the 21st and that is just around the corner and that is tomorrow so that is tomorrow that's why people sell the shares too so it is it is exciting folks so thank you very much for watching it stay tuned for more videos take care